let's look at the here and now. We've got some thunderstorms out there to watch. Watching the radar, as you can see, pretty active across the area. Lightning strikes popping out here, especially down towards Rosenberg right behind me. A couple of the cells, you watch them on radar, and you might be looking at your radar, maybe on your phone, really getting close in. And you start to look at some of these signatures. Uh, you know, looking at perhaps this one right here, this cell that's moving right along uh, as we get to, this is 610, uh, right up into here, um, watching the potential for some broad rotation. Um, you saw the hook on the radar, uh, but you take a look at the, the velocities and it's not a real tight rotation, but it's a broad one. So this is the kind of cell that we're watching and that the National Weather Service is watching as well. We're going to continue to watch that area. That's right around the Missouri City area. Uh, I think I had the road wrong there. But anyway, watching the storms in East Texas into northwestern Louisiana, right up into Mississippi. Today we've got showers and storms in the forecast and by this afternoon, watching this area right along the Gulf Coast, especially into this evening where we might be dealing with some thunderstorms, possibly at severe limits. We'll have to watch for some uh, maybe brief tornadoes. We could also see that risk for some strong damaging winds as well. And then tomorrow, the risk for showers, rain continuing east, and maybe some thunderstorms here in the eastern mid-Atlantic as well. We'll watch that. Rainfall, maybe an inch plus as this storm system moves on through. And it's you know certainly going to be another warm rain as temperatures are mild yet again. But we've had some cold air, and it's been enough to get the snow. So let's track that with winter storm echo, Jim. Oh, yeah, still snowing this morning. I was kind of Welcome back. Let's show you the forecast for today. The big picture as we lay it out on the floor for you includes still more of winter storm echo, but also a rainy side to it as well. You know, we take a look at the snow. It's still going. It's not the big snow that we saw on the Rockies, but we've got about an inch or two or maybe even three still left to fall across Minnesota into North Dakota and maybe up here into northern Wisconsin. You of Michigan. We'd like a little snow too. We'll get a little bit. Not a lot. All right, rain. There's a lot of it as the whole thing tracks east. Our whole system tracks east through the southeast first, eventually getting into the northeast tomorrow. But we've got rain out there starting your day in Texas on the move through the day. We're going to time it out, let you know when you can expect a wet ride. And then temperatures. It has been so warm, and even though it is cooler right now than it was yesterday at this time for a lot of you in the east, uh, we are going to get a break from the heat. And it's really just a sort of an interruption to the heat. We warm back up again, but we've got it all laid out for you here on AMHQ. That's your big picture right now at 30 minutes past the hour. Jim Cantori, we are looking at a lot out there. The snow uh, we are. has been and, and you know what's interesting. interesting? Uh, we all started this week with the Salt Lake City snow. Yeah. It's still snowing out there. Oh, is it really? Okay, yeah, they're still going to get, you know, like one to four inches in the hills and whatnot. They got 31 inches in uh, Snowbird, incredible snow. This is the winter that they'd love, right? Yes. You know, it just it snows had. every day in the mountains, right? right? And we're still in moderate drought out there. It's a lot of clarity, yeah. so keep yeah. piling up the snow. All right, storms tracking in. That's what I've got timing out for you, is when the rain comes in through the south. If you step outside this morning, for a lot of you in the southeast, in Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, it's fine, but rain is on the way. So Let's track it. We've got our big dip in the jet stream. This is the whole uh, impetus for winter storm echo and that energy for winter storm echo is pulling up here into Canada, but the front extends back into the southeast. We're going to see a wave of low pressure along this front and that's going to help bring us actually the chance for some storms, maybe even severe weather later today across the Gulf Coast states. You know, we've been tracking these storms this morning already. Lightning and thunder waking you up early in Houston. Some uh, heavy rain coming down with that. No severe warnings right now, but we're watching it. Little Rock down towards Monroe. Louisiana storms on the move as well, but there's some clearing behind it. So we will get drier air moving in behind it and we will get uh, some temperature drop offs too. tracking the rain for you today. though Nashville, you're dry through lunchtime. Then this afternoon, a couple of showers move in New Orleans for you through the afternoon. The rush hour home. It's wet. A couple of showers in Birmingham to start. Then the rain more of it to come into Birmingham, Montgomery through the overnight and Atlanta this evening into overnight as well. Tomorrow morning it is in Charlotte. Uh, wet morning ahead for you and rainfall could be on the order of one to two inches. A lot of areas getting about an inch in your rain gauge. All right, Reynolds, let's talk temperatures. These mild temperatures have been crazy.